Back in the stone age of 3D printing, people used to love to mod their printers, especially the people with Ender 3 Pros. Anybody who had one of these printers definitely printed at least one mod. But the 3D printing world has changed astronomically since Bamboo Lab released their first printer. Now these machines are very highly engineered and they don't need much modification because they're already so good. Plus, they're not as easy as the old Ender 3 to mod, but that's not going to stop me. So here are 14 mods you can do for your X1C or P1S. This first mod is something that everyone has probably already printed for their printer. As you definitely know, these printers poop. A lot. So instead of having the poop just flung out of the back, we need somewhere to store it. That's where this poop chute comes in. The poop comes out of the back door and slides into this and it stores all the poop. I printed a pretty small one, and I would definitely recommend printing a bigger one so that it can store more of the poop. Bamboo Lab printers have an amazing multi-material system, but some spools just don't fit or don't work well in the AMS. And that's where the second modification comes in. The stock external spool holder that comes with this printer is weirdly mounted at the back of the printer. This is extremely inconvenient, so let's change that. This mod changes your spool holder from being at the back to being on the side, which is a lot more convenient and also makes it so much easier to use. Again, taking a look at the back of this printer, you can see that there are a lot of wires and tubes just hanging all around. This next mod routes all of the wires so that you can have a neat and tidy looking back of your printer. That way, all the wires and tubes are out of the way and they won't interfere with anything. This just gives the printer a much cleaner look. If you have one of these machines, you know that it can get pretty dusty. And this dust has potential to get into the parts of your printer, which I don't really want. One of the places that has potential for this dust is this back belt tensioner on the printer. So that's why I printed this mod that will help me keep the dust out of this space. There are two of these belt tensioners, one on each side, but if you remember the mod with the external spool holder that we did before, it's actually covering this other one which will help prevent the dust in that one. So we're only going to need one of these. Another place that has a lot of potential for dust is actually inside the extruder head. It has this wide gap at the top that needs to be filled with something to keep out the dust. So that's why this mod clips into the top and keeps dirt and debris out of your hot end and extruder. If you take a look at the P1S, you might think that it's enclosed, but there are actually a few holes that could be filled. One of which being this little hole at the top of the printer. So this little print right here fits right into the hole and clears it up so that no dust, dirt, debris can get in there and also encloses the printer even more. Staying on the topic of dust prevention and covers, we have these little lead screws that at the top have an exposed bearing that could have dirt, debris, dust get in them. So we have another dust cover which is this little circle right here. This helps prevent any dirt, debris, anything from getting onto the lead screws. This next modification is the biggest and hardest print that will be done for this modification video. The top glass of this printer is simply sitting on the top of the printer. So when you take it off, you have to completely take the glass off and place it somewhere around. This not only takes up a lot of space, but could get scratched or even cracked having it just sitting around. This next modification is a hinge for the top glass. This entire modification is printed, even the pin that goes in the hinge to make it swivel. And this can be an area of concern for people because it might not be very strong. This is the only print that I didn't print in PLA and I used PETG from California Filaments on this. When you print this, there is a ton of support material that you need to remove and it takes forever. I personally would not recommend doing this modification, but I see how useful it could be if it was a little bit easier to print and maybe the rod was made of metal, which is what I did and I picked this up from my local hardware store. That way, it's a little bit more durable and it doesn't break. I'm not sure if I'll keep this mod on my printer, but I think it would be really useful if you're someone who opens the top glass a lot. With this mod, however, you're not able to place the AMS system on top of the printer anymore because it blocks the feet. So you'll have to place it off to the side. And this means that you'll be moving around the AMS system quite a lot. The AMS system doesn't have any handles, so there's not really a very good way that you're supposed to hold it. That's where this next print comes in. 
I found out that there's two different AMS systems that you can have in an old version and a new version. I'm not really sure what's different about them except for the fact that the side panels have more support. I originally printed these handles for the old version so I had to go back and reprint them. So now the AMS system is a lot easier to carry around. If you can see, this is the only print in this video that I did that's a different color than black. I use this new makers orange and don't forget to use code EA10 for a 10% discount off your new makers order they're my favorite filament brand if you couldn't tell all of the other pieces were printed in polymaker black and i chose black because i think it fits the aesthetic of the printer but i think you could do some pretty cool things if you added different colors if you want to pick up some polymaker filament and support the channel you can click my affiliate link down below now back to the modifications this next one is less of a modification more of a tool to help you when you're fixing your printer as you definitely know with the p1s and x1 carbon the extruder cover is mounted with some magnets that hold it on to the actual gantry and there's this wire to the fan that connects the gantry to the cover so when you remove the cover it actually dangles down and gets away and often runs into the hot end of the printer which can be very dangerous especially if the nozzle is hot and it can melt the actual plastic of the cover so this mod which is actually one of my favorites clips onto the carbon rod of your printer and holds the hot end cover away from the nozzle which makes it so much easier for you to actually work on this printer now this next mod isn't printed and i know this is a video about printed mods but it's not really a mod just something i would recommend you buy the p1s comes with this textured pei build plate but instead i would recommend that you pick up this pex build plate from wham bam this isn't sponsored, but this build plate is amazing. It gives you like a semi-matte finish on the bottom of your prints that looks absolutely incredible, and the print sticks so much better than on textured PEI. And you never need any glue for this build plate. I haven't used any, and I printed all of these modifications on the Wham Bam PEX plates. So go ahead and definitely check them out. This next modification you actually can't use with the hinge top modification that we did earlier, but I ended up taking that off my printer anyways. When you print with PLA, especially silk PLA, Bamboo Lab actually recommends that you keep the glass door slightly cracked or open. This helps with airflow and especially when the printer is purging. However, I would not like to keep my glass door open because it could easily get bumped into and broken. So another option is to keep the top glass slightly cracked and that's where this modification comes in. This mod uses the handle of the glass top to prop open the top glass. That way air can get in and out and flow around to help when you're printing with those silk PLAs. The Bamboo Lab P1S and X1 Carbon both have this auxiliary fan on the side that help with part cooling. However, the blades of this fan aren't covered, so this next mod is a cover for these blades. This helps protect you from fingers getting in there and also debris from your prints. The bed on these printers automatically come with a little guide at the back so that it helps you slide in the build plate. However, I printed an improved version of this to easily slide it in every time without having to adjust it at all. This next mod will help us a ton with one of the mods that we did earlier. The PTFE tube that connects to the AMS is all one piece and makes it kind of inconvenient when you want to use the external spool. You have to take out the PTFE tubing and stick the other piece in, and if you forget to put it back in, your filament will just start spooling everywhere when you use the AMS again. That's why I printed this Y split so that it will easily guide your filament and you can use either the external spool or the AMS system without having to take out the tubes. So that's all the mods I've printed. There are a ton more out there and I will make another video which is a part two of this, but these are the ones that I've done so far.